Hello and welcome by the Argot Saga. And today we have another care collab for you guys. And um, I'm going to talk about the um, Vandatai plant who are is standing. Well, there. Yes, <laughs> it's a beautiful plant. Uh, it's fairly new for me, so I don't have uh, much um, experience with it yet. But I can talk about. Uh, how I care for, uh, give it uh, care now and what I expect and maybe I need to change something but um, yeah I'm really happy to join in on this care collab and before um, we going further on how I give this uh, how I do care for this orchid I would like to mention uh, the other participants for this uh, care collab uh, first of all it's uh, Nicole Dana if I'm uh, pronouncing that correct it's for me uh, a new channel, so Nicole, I will uh, head over to your channel uh, for sure and uh, have a look and I think I will subscribe. It's always nice to have more uh, uh, orchid growers uh, we can learn from. Then we have plants and other things. We are already familiar with one another. Uh, he's always, uh, no, uh, almost always commenting on my videos. Highly appreciate it. Give me some tips and especially on uh, putting up these vendas. Um, he has his doubts if it's going to work, but that's okay. I think it's uh, really nice that we can uh, and we may learn from one another and we not always have to uh, have the same opinion. So that's uh, very interesting to see how that will go. And of course the last one and the inventor of this uh, care collab series, uh, Nina from Ninja Orchids. Uh, and me, myself and I of course. So let's uh, get over to the orchid and uh, start this care collab. And like I said, we're going to talk about this beauty over here. This is the uh, Christ, uh, Christensonia Vietnamica or Venda Vietnamica. I have it listed like uh, as the Christensonia. My pronunciations are very good as you can hear. <laughs> and it's from Look Orchids from Germany. It has some growing roots, so that's beautiful. Um, but I would love to have a little bit more roots in a pot growing root tip so we will have a look if that is uh, starting already but um, yeah this is the orchid and uh, I will now grab her and uh, put her on the table on the up potting table in the uh, orchid room and we now are in my uh, orchid room with my uh, potting table and here I like to have the closer looks at my orchid because it's a little bit easier to have the uh, camera on the uh, tripod and I can have my both hands and move around the orchid. But here we have the uh, Vietnamica. And um, I had this one uh, not that long in my, co for in my collection. It was uh, put in this pot on the 17th of April 21. So that's quite recently. Uh, what it did do is uh, continue to grow these aerial roots. And we have one here. In my Backdrop is a little bit busy, but I thought it's a nice shot so you can see uh, the orchid room a little bit more of it, the orchid room as well. But this is uh, another new uh, root, and here we have another new root starting as well. I have this one up potted in cell, uh, cell watering, and I just want to try this out if this is going to work for me. Um, I like the look of it, I like to have it like uh, this in a, a quite a big pot. And, um, but I thought, well, we can have a look now at the roots, are they, uh, if they are still growing. Because I have filled up this reservoir with water and thereby I do that uh, as soon as I see new roots starting in the pots. So um, this is a nice opportunity to have a little look in, inside of the pot. And therefore I will adjust the camera angle and um, then we will have a look. So I think, this, I think this is a little bit better. Okay, let's grab it out of the pot. This pot is slightly opaque, but I think we might have a look, can have a look at the uh, roots if I can find them. Um, one here. Apparently, I cannot find them. I will try to uh, move it around a little bit like this. So we have a old root here. That's the one that I can find. It's 
I think it's still alive, but it's a little bit on the dark side, so I'm not sure. But it's the same root with, uh, with starting here on top of the path, starts a new root, so I think it will be fine. But I do not see much more root wise yet. It's very uh, big path. Um, so I'm sorry, I cannot sh show much root yet. But uh, again, I have this orchid um, just recently bought in and put in my collection. But it uh, really uh, starts growing new roots, um, aerial roots. So I think the rest will be there as well. And what we all also have is, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it a bit better. All these little nubbins are starting new root tips. They just appear on the surface of that root. And yeah, these these did stop growing, but they probably will shoot out again. Um, so yeah, it's quite a fairly new one. And so if I'm really experimenting with this in the I'm in the experiment phase. I cannot say this is uh, the care that I give it because it grows so well. <laughs> I try to grow it as well as I can. So I'm fairly new to this one. But what I do is with, uh, with the other orchids, um, most of them I like to grow my orchids in uh, self-watering. And on occasion, it's most uh, every three months. With newer plants, I keep a closer eye on the on the reservoir. But I will uh, measure the reservoir and see how it does. And for example, oh, I'm sorry, shut this down. Uh, I would like to press the hold button. Here it is. That's better. You can see now this is too. 33. For my liking it's too high. If it goes above 200 I flush it. I will flush it until I have a nicer cleaner reservoir with a uh, little less uh, PPMs. Because in my uh, experience in the way I grow without um, flushing too regularly um, I like to keep the reservoir low on P PPMs. So this is a little bit high, so I'm going to flush it and then we're going to have another look. Um, flush it, I just have clean RO water here in my, uh, my bin, in my water can, I should say not in my bin, <laughs> in my water can, I, I'm sorry. And um, I will flush it and to uh, get rid of the extra salts, the extra PPMs that I have in the pot. And I try to do this quite fairly strongly and fill it up. And let it run through, as you can see. And give it a good flush. And that is it. What I will now do is, I don't know if it's on camera. Um, I'm going to change the angle a little bit, so you can see. I will put it back in a pot, and I have already here some O water with only some seaweed in it. And that is the water it will get, and I will come back tomorrow and measure it again if the PPMs stayed low or if the high again. And high is uh, 200 or more from for me. So I put it back, like I said. At least I try. Yeah. This is my little water meter, and I will give this now our all water with some seaweed and I had to grab a little bit more RO water because I had a little too less with uh, RO water with seawater so this is just plain RO water because there is already some uh, sea seaweed uh, in there this red thing should come up it's the, uh, yes there it is it is, was a little bit stuck, but now I know I have my uh, reservoir filled. To be honest, I have a little bit too much, so I'm going to grab it again. And it's basically an extra flush, apparently. <laughs> but I don't want too much water in there. So I will put it back. And back in the pot. We will tap this, and there you go. You see now, if I push it down, it goes up again. 
So now I know I have enough water in my reservoir. If it's way up like this, I know I have a little bit too much. It isn't a problem, especially for this one, because I was already flushing it, so it had a little extra flush, that's all. But I'm going to leave it, uh, I'm putting this back in a greenhouse, and we will uh, revisit this uh, tomorrow, and we will measure again. Um, because this is, at the moment, that uh, how I give this uh, orchid uh, its care, so therefore I like to... Uh, um, let you guys join in and see how I try to get them started in, uh, in self-watering. So I will be back by tomorrow. And we are back. This is the day after. So I let it rest for one night and now I'm going to measure again what uh, the PPM level is in the reservoir and also the pH. Just to be sure. But I'm a bit at this stage very interested in the PPM because those are quite high. So we're going to get uh, the orchid out and we will have a look. And if everything is alright, we're going to place her back uh, in the greenhouse where I have her. So you can have a look and we can talk a little about better light that she is getting. So let's have a look and I will show you the measurements. So we did go from 200 to 78. So that's beautiful. This is... Uh, Nothing wrong with this, and the pH, just out of curiosity, let's have a look, 704, oh, I'm sorry, I hope you, whoops, yes, there it is, so that's okay as well, it's a little bit high, but that was be to be expected, because this plant is uh, quite um, new to this setup. So I will uh, put it back in uh, her pot with the water. I will keep an eye on this um, pot she's potted in. And I had a suggestion from, uh, I think it was plants and other things. I'm sorry, I don't remember your uh, name from the top of my head. Um, it was a little bit, uh, he had his doubts if this would work for vendor types. And I kind of agree on it. I think it worked, that's why I'm trying it out. But what I might uh, do is put some holes in here to get a little bit more air in. So that's something that I could have done. Um, but I'm not completely sure if I'm going to do that. I just want to give this a try as it is. And I hope all these little new roots will start to grow and grow inside of that pot. That would be uh, beautiful, of course. So that's it and done. Um, this is it for now. I'm going to put it back in uh, this part. I mean, I'm going to put it back in uh, in this pot, and then we go uh, visit this plant um, in a greenhouse. And she is back in the greenhouse. She is placed over there. So she will get quite some light, but it's quite filtered, as you can see. The vendas get it first, and then the uh, vanda types. Um, so I keep them on that shelf and above there are the cattleyas and other types that really like some uh, bright light but uh, my Vietnamica is uh, put over there I think she's, uh, she likes it but like I said it's fairly uh, a new plant for me so I will uh, do some updates and like I said I may have uh, put some holes in, in, in uh, the inner pot but um, I can show you I'm going to zoom out while I'm walking but the inner part is quite close to the edge of the outer part, so I don't know if it does make that much of a difference. For example, this part has way more room, so if I put holes in this part, it has more effect, I think, in, in to getting uh, fresh air in uh, than in this part. But uh, like I said, I'm going to watch the roots closely. If I uh, think it's going down, it doesn't work out, I will interfere, obviously and try to find another setup. I have some ideas if this really doesn't work, but as always, you have to give it a try and don't change it too often and too much in a too short of time. This is something I uh, can give you as a tip. So therefore, I'll leave it here. She's adjusting to the situation here now and um, she just needs some time and it's okay. So that's basically how I care for my uh, Vanda Christ. Chrysontiana Vietnamica. And there's the tag. I did get mine from Luke Arkets, Germany. 
If you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, some suggestions are, are always appreciated. And uh, for now, I just want to say thank you. I'm really enjoying these scare collabs. So I'm really happy that I could join in, in this one as well. Uh, thank you for watching. And I will now head over to the other channels and uh, have a look at their uh, care collab uh, at their Vietnamicas. And um, maybe I could can learn something because, uh, like I said, it's fairly new for me. So it's uh, therefore it's very nice that uh, more people are joining in in the scare collab, so we can learn from each other. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you at one of my next uh, video. Bye bye.